for KNP, Kids News 2, your place to watch Kids News. I am Joe, bringing you the latest from across the world. Fabian Cusco is building an international research station in Gipsy, based on reports. Several media houses, including Forbes, have reported it. When complete, Proteus will be a state-of-the-art research facility 60 feet below the surface of the ocean. The name is based on the great primordial sea god who was known to be a keeper of knowledge and could assume different shapes. Building it underwater and operating it for the first three years will cost an estimated $135 million. It sounds really exciting. I would definitely add that to my bucket list. Indonesia's volcano mound, Sinabung, erupts, sending ash miles into the sky. It erupted on Saturday and again on Monday with a thunderous noise and turned the sky dark, based on reports. No injuries have been reported following the eruption. Indonesia is home to more than 100 active volcanoes. It's a country in Southeast Asia and Oceania, between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. It is made up of more than 17,000 islands. Have you ever tried a volcano experiment at home? Here's a clip that my cousin shared with me. Oh. We will bring you more about volcanoes in the news tomorrow. Nine-year-old Kenyan boy wins presidential award for building wooden hand washing machine. Reports CNN. Stephen Wakamoto made a wooden hand washing machine to limit the spread of COVID-19 and received a presidential award on Monday. The machine allows users to tip a bucket of water using a foot pedal to avoid touching surfaces to reduce infections. He came up with the idea after learning on TV about ways to prevent catching the virus. Impressive! We have our reporter, Kara, from Toronto, bringing you the latest on sports. Over to you, Carol. Can you hear us, Carol? Thanks, Joe. The Raptors are still a very great team. With the Wednesday's 109-99 score over the Orlando Magic, the Toronto Raptors improved their record to 3-0 in the NBA bubble. Their magic number is down to one. The Raptors will be playing without guard Patrick McCaw as he is to leave NBA. That's so sad. For treatment for mass on his left knee, Toronto is not able to replace McCaw on the NBA's campus with another player, so the team's roster stands at 16. Toronto had not lost a seeding game in the bubble, heading into a game Friday against the Boston. That's all for today. Reporting Carol for Kids News 2, Markham, Toronto. Thanks, Carol. On to weather now. Today, we are bringing you weather from Disney World, Orlando, Florida. The Walt Disney World Resort is located in Bay Lake in Lake Buena Vista, Florida, in the United States, near the cities of Orlando and Kissimmee. Highest temperature today is at 35 degrees Celsius and lows at 24 degrees Celsius. Open on October 1st. 1971. The resort is owned and operated by Disney Parks, a division of the Walt Disney Company. The property covers nearly 25,000 acres, of which only half has been used. Well, I guess that's big enough to have varying weather. Well, when you're in Disney, weather doesn't matter, does it? 
That's all for today. Thank you. Stay safe and have fun.